Welcome into College Football Now. I am Tom Downey, and today's show is presented by the Fetch Rewards app. Use it to earn points on any receipt from any store or restaurant that you can then redeem for gift cards. Today's video is a look at the top 25 recruits in the 2022 class, with it now being February's National Signing Day, and a look at the top transfer portal guys who have already committed and or enrolled. Number 25, recruiting. To start, we'll get to the transfer portal stuff later on. Ty Simpson, the quarterback from Alabama. After a, a bit of a stretch where the Crimson Tide did not have much success with QBs, perhaps Ty Simpson will help continue a recent trend of being really good in that area. Next up is Chris Marshall, the wide receiver from Texas A&M. Now, as things sit right now, the Aggies have the number one class this year in part because of a loaded group of five stars, including Chris Marshall, out of Texas. Marvin Jones Jr., the edge rusher out of Georgia. He's the number three edge. We'll get to the other two, of course, later on. Oh, by the way, uh, every player we discuss in the top 25 recruits is a five star, which, you know, you've probably figured out there. Now, we're focused right now on the top 25 players, but... Do you want us here at Chat Sports to break down the top 25 classes later on today once some of the uncommitted guys make their decisions? If you do, I want you to type in me in the comment section right now. Let the bosses know that, you know, with the NFL offseason here, NBA trade on approaching, you still want college football coverage. Oh, look, another Aggie. This is, or at least I should say, about to be Aggie. Denver Harris. All, first off fantastic name also out of texas he's the number six recruit in the state we'll get to more texas kids here in a little bit but a very common trend especially early on in this video sec guys Jihad campbell out of florida img academy is going to alabama the number two edge number three player from the state of florida so who is your favorite 2022 recruit? It could be somebody that went to your high school. It could be somebody that you know personally. It can just be the best recruit overall or the best recruit for your favorite team. Tons of different routes you guys can go here, and I want you to head down to the comment section and let me know. Drop a name for me at the pinned comment. So if the ad break comes here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there and drop a name. All right, our first non-SEC recruit, that is Travis Shaw out of, or out of North Carolina, sticking with the top school in his state. Going to the Tar Heels, he's number 20, plays on the defensive line. Another Texas a and you're going to get tired of me saying it, I apologize in advance. Quarterback Connor Wigman out of Texas, the number two quarterback. To get the number one QB, you'll have to wait until we get inside the top 10. Georgia landed athlete Malachi Stark. Listen, it's 6'1", 200 pounds. I don't know where exactly the Bulldogs are going to plan on having him playing. I think they're, that doesn't have to be made quite this point. I would, I mean, 24-7 sports, comps to Patrick Queen. I think there's a lot of different routes you could go there in the end. I like re recruiting athletes because it stems from my days playing NCAA 14 where let's recruit the athletes and then put them at quarterback. All right, back on track. Jeremiah Alexander, the edge rusher out of the state of Alabama, sticking in state, the Crimson Tide land, the top rec uh, rated recruit from their backyard. He's number 17, the top edge in this year's class. Another Texas A&M recruit this time out of Florida, number two in the state, number four defensive lineman, Gabriel Brownlow Dindy, defensive tackle, listed at 6'3", 280. DeMarvin Leal is not in the NFL. Maybe Brownlow Dindy could be the next replacement on that spot. Like I mentioned earlier, today's show is presented by the Fetch Rewards app. What the app does, it scans your receipts like you're about to see in this video here. Any receipt from any store or restaurant, whether it is Starbucks, Walmart, wherever, Target, favorite restaurant, local mom and pop shop, they all work. You will earn points for any receipt that you scan from any store or restaurant. You can then redeem those points for gift cards and other rewards. It's kind of like having a credit card that earns you points. Do the same thing for your receipts as well. Download the app today for free at chatsports.com slash 
fetch. You get 3,000 bonus points when you use promo code CHAT. We'll put the link and the promo code in the comment section and in the description for you guys as well. Turn your receipts into free gift cards. Again, that link, chatsports.com slash fetch, and the promo code will be in the comments section and in the description. Number 15 now, Josh, Con Josh Connerly Jr., one of the only remaining uncommitted recruits. Washington, Michigan involved, and uh, Michigan's now a bit dicey with the Jim Harbaugh situation. He says he's not committing today and won't till March, so we'll have to wait and see what ends up happening with the number one recruit from the state of Washington. Michigan's Will Johnson now checks in at number 14. The Wolverines kept him in state. The number three cornerback, good size, by the way, 6'3", 190. All right, that's the top 14 here. Let's move on now to a question for you guys. I want you to shout out your favorite team in the comments. You can go full homer right here and even talk some trash if that's something you guys really want to try. So let me know who your favorite team is right now in the comments section. All right, number 13, Zach Rice out, out of Virginia. The number one recruit in the state did not go to Virginia or Virginia Tech. He instead is joining Mac Brown at North Carolina. That's right, two top 25 recruits for the Tar Heels. Here is Ohio State's first recruit in the top 25. We'll get to another one later on. That is Sonny Styles. The safety hails from Pickerington, Ohio. So really local kid. Not a huge surprise. The Buckeyes kept him in state. Then there's Evan Stewart, the wide receiver out of Frisco, Texas. He's going to Texas A&M. There is a reason why the Aggies, for now, have the number one committed uh, class in this 2022 recruiting cycle. If you want college football, NFL, NBA, and even the occasional baseball video here at Chat Sports, hit that big red button and subscribe. It is 100% free here and it always will be. So if you haven't already, join us for free videos every single day. Time now for a run on uncommitted recruits. Shamar Stewart, and these, by the way, everyone else is signed. Except for these uncommitted guys, they've all got the big old green check mark. Shamar Stewart was an AM recruit. Defensive lineman. Now, not so sure. He's going to make his decision today. He hails from four of the top player in the state. The Miami Hurricanes and Georgia Bulldogs are also in his top three. I don't know what he's going to do. Maybe he ends up sticking with the Aggies, but this is up in the air. Devin Campbell, meanwhile, is the number nine recruit. He is down to two schools, and the heavy, heavy lean right now is Texas, based on the sometime insiders on the college football recruiting pay sites and boards. So where do you think Devin Campbell goes? Type in T for Texas. They are not back yet. Or type in O for Oklahoma. Shoot your shot. Make your predictions for me in the comments section. Harold Perkins next up here. These three guys should be committing today. At least that's the tentative plan, but plans change some time. Perkins is the number two recruit in the state of Texas. He is down to three, Florida, LSU, and Texas A&M. Florida has not had a great class this year. They could use a win right here. I'm thinking the Aggies have a good chance based on what's been going on so far this year. LSU, of course, also firmly in that mix. Number seven, Ohio State's top recruit this year, C.J. Hicks out of Dayton, Ohio, the number one linebacker, number one player in the state. Given the way the Buckeyes linebackers have played in recent years, or I should say last year, I wonder if Hicks has a decent shot to get some early playing time for the Buckeyes. Out of Austin, Texas, number one QB, number one recruit in the state, Cade Klubnik is heading to Clemson. Not Texas, not Alabama, not anywhere else. He is going to join Dabo with the Clemson Tigers. And I wonder if he could get some early playing time, given the way DJ Uy Ungalale did not fare that well for Clemson. Now, we're going to come back to the top five in terms of the 2022 recruits. Before that, though, we're going to look at some of the top transfers. Now, transfers don't count in the recruiting rankings for anybody, 
but they, of course, have a pretty big impact on your team, especially in the modern-day transfer portal NIL era. So who do you think is the best transfer this year? About to run through the top 10, but I want to hear from you guys first. All right, this is based on the 24-7 sports transfer ranking, just like the top 25 recruits are based on the 24-7 on the sports composite. A lot of QBs here to start. Caleb Williams has indeed gone to USC. The surprise of nobody breaking the hearts of Oklahoma fans everywhere slash uh, continuing their anger at Lincoln Riley. Quinn Ewers going from Ohio State to Texas. I would assume he starts this year, though we haven't seen him at all. Jackson Dart as part of the Caleb Williams, you know, I don't know domino effect. He actually already committed to Ole Miss, which is going to be fun for Lane Kiffin. Eli Ricks is definitely your best non-QB impact player at LSU to an extent. I think he's going to thrive at Nick Saban. I would not be surprised in a few years that kid is a top 15 draft pick. Really intriguing name right here is Kingsley, and I'm probably going to botch the name, Kingsley Suamati Taya. I think I got that right, but probably not. Out of Oregon initially, now is going to BYU, which is a pretty big get for the Cougars. Jamar Gibbs, who I think this is one of the most underrated names. Georgia Tech's offense was really bad, uh, which, you know, I mean, that, that makes some sense, right? Sometimes you just don't have a good team around you. Gibbs at Bama, I think, is going to be a baller for them. Zach Evans, by the way, who was kind of waffling, waffling, waffling uh, early in his career, went to TCU after decommitting and then doing all kinds of stuff, is also going to Ole Miss. Evans and Dart, it's a fun duo right there. Mario Williams, the receiver, joining his buddy Caleb Williams and his coach, Lincoln Riley, at USC. Jermaine Burton, by the way, is going from Georgia to Alabama. We saw Jamison Williams have a breakout year transferring. Burton's next up. And then Alabama did lose linebacker Drew Sanders, who is going to Arkansas. I want you to be honest with me in the comments section. Do you like the... Uh, we'll call it the NIL, the, the, the payment stuff that players can now get. Do you like the impact that it has on college football? Why for yes or N for no in the comments. Top five time of the top 2022 recruits this year. USC's top guy, Damani Jackson, the number two corner in this year's class. Out of California, he's staying in state. Georgia, now there, here's their top recruit. Michael Williams, the defensive lineman out of Illinois, which, by the way, is, the, or excuse me, out, out of Georgia, my bad. He's only the number two player in the state of Georgia. The top three, two of them are a bit of a surprise in terms of where they went. Luther Burden, the wide receiver from Illinois, is going to Missouri. What a get for the Tigers. You would assume big early impact for him. Walter Nolan, the number two recruit committed and uh, I believe is, is signed to Texas A&M. Big get for the Aggies. He did sign, by the way. All these guys are signed. I mentioned that earlier. Duh. Out of Tennessee, Aggies get a big one. But there was nothing more shocking this year in the college football recruiting world than Travis Hunter, the cornerback from Georgia, going to Jackson State. Going to play for Coach Prime and Deion Sanders. A big get and probably only accomplishable in the new NIL era. That, my friends, is your top 25 recruits this year in the college football recruiting cycle.